Hey, what's up everyone? So I got a couple of emails asking if I could do a video about getting out of debt. I decided I'm gonna put together a little video series all about debt. So this is gonna be the first one. We're gonna talk about good debt versus bad debt. And even if there's such a thing as good debt, let's get started. Debt is a dirty little four letter word. As soon as we hear the word debt, we immediately associate it with bad, with payments, with stress, with staying up at night, not being able to sleep. Debt is not a word that you associate wealth with. But I'm here to tell you that some of the wealthiest people in the world, the way that they've accomplished that is through having a ton of debt. When I look at debt or think about taking on any additional debt, there's a simple frame of mind, a simple way that I frame it before I make a decision if it's a good debt or if it's a bad debt. And it all comes down to this question. Is it gonna cost me money or is it gonna make me money? Now, most of the debts out there are going to cost money. All of the consumer BS crappy debts, they're all bad debts and you should not have any of them. That is the ultimate goal to get rid of all of that crap. If it's going to make me money, that is a debt that is worth considering. Now, it doesn't always mean that it is a good debt because there's risk that might come along with it. There are things that I might have to do in order to make it a good debt. But in the long run, if it's going to put money in my pocket, it is a debt that I will consider taking on. Those debts can build up your assets and could help you achieve financial freedom much faster than any other path. Now, there are definitely some financial gurus out there like Dave Ramsey, who will say that all debt is bad, to avoid all debt like the plague. And if you take that advice, you'll be just fine. If you have no debt in this world, if you pay off your mortgage and your cars and you pay cash for everything, you'll be great. You'll be doing just fine. So bad debts, if you have them, you're not alone. Most people have bad debts, and it's hard to get yourself out of these bad debts, but that has to be the main focus going forward. So let's list out the obvious bad debts. Number one, they're payday loans. Don't ever take out a payday loan. The interest rates, I mean, it is like criminal what goes on with the payday loans. Next is credit card debt. At one time or another, we all find ourselves in credit card debt, and it might be no fault of our own, but just realize that it's not a sustainable way to live. If you have credit card debt, We'll get to that in the next video, but you have to focus on paying that off. A loan to buy yourself a new MacBook or a new 70 inch flat screen TV or redo your kitchen or new furniture in your house. All of those expenses, you need to pay cash. It's not good debt to borrow money to do those things. First of all, the interest rate is gonna be very high and you're committing your future income to consume something now. It's never a good idea. Car loans, not good debt. Student loans. Student loans are a little bit trickier because you're making an investment. That student loan, getting your education in the long run could potentially put a lot of money in your pocket. You could make a lot of money by taking on that student loan. So student loans potentially can be good debt. You still have to be smart and you don't want to take on a tremendous amount, but it could be a good opportunity for you to make a lot more money in your life. So student loans could be considered a good debt, depending on what you do with it. A mortgage on your home, that's a tough one. It's good to own your home, it could grow in value, it could eventually put money in your pocket when you sell the home at a higher price, but on a month to month basis, you're paying out for that mortgage. That is money coming out of your pocket. You are committing your income to service that debt month in and month out. So a mortgage would not be considered a good debt. So what are some things that would be considered a good debt? What if somebody let me borrow $100,000 at 1% interest? Say it's a relative, they have all this money, they're like, Rich, I know that you can invest this money, I'm gonna give you 100,000 bucks, just pay me 1% interest. It's basically what the savings account's paying me anyway. I take that $100,000, I now have a debt, I have to pay back that $100,000. Is that a good or a bad debt? And the answer is, it really depends on what I do with that $100,000. If I take that $100,000 and I go buy some cars and some furniture and I live it up and have a great time and go on some awesome vacations, that's a very bad debt. But instead, if I take that $100,000 
and I buy a US Treasury note and it pays me 2%. Yeah, it's not a great rate of return, but I'm borrowing at 1% and I'm investing in something very stable at 2%. So I get to pocket the spread there. Wouldn't anybody in the world take on that debt? It's free money in my pocket. I don't have to do anything. I borrow it here, I invest it here, and I get paid the spread. How could you argue that that's a bad debt? The whole idea behind good debt is that you could borrow money from somebody, you could take that money, invest it wisely in a stable asset that is in turn going to give you a higher rate of return than what you're paying in interest over here. That is what real investors do. That is how they build wealth. It is a great way to accelerate your path to financial freedom. And my final disclosure is that obviously everything has risk associated with it. So even if you find the greatest deal, like my example of lending money to the government, everything has a risk to it. People can default. You can get hurt borrowing money. That's one of the big reasons why Dave Ramsey says borrow, you know, under no condition. But in the real world, many people who get wealthy, they're using leverage. They're borrowing money. They're investing it in stable assets. And that's good debt. That's how they build their financial freedom. So just know and realize that good debt can make you rich. It's very hard to get good debt if you have bad debt. So step number one is you got to pay off the bad debt. Once you get rid of the bad debt, now you start investing money in assets and you use good debt to acquire those assets. That is the way of the wealthy. Now that you have a better understanding of how I approach debt and what good debt is versus bad debt, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to pay off your consumer debt. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you again over in the next video in this series where we'll talk about how to get out of consumer debt. Thank you.